All right, hey, what's up, guys? Coach Max, Play Fast Football. Today we're going to take a look at uh, our tight front and what we consider our visual keys and what we consider our pressure keys. All right, make sure you check out some of our partners, GameStrat, Sideline Replay Company. We use, I've used them for the last five or six years. Uh, if you're looking for highly reliable, highly affordable, great customer service, check out GameStrat. Dome Hats, the headwear company we use at Bishop Kenny High School and for Play Fast Football. Right, if you're looking for completely customizable hats, you design the hat, you put your logo on it, you design the type of hat you want, what you want to do with the pa panels, you can change the colors, uh, the enclosure on the back, it can be snapback fitted, Velcro, completely customizable, you go on their website, you design your own hat, every hat has a story, make sure you check out Dome. Baker Sporting Goods Company we use for our sideline coaches gear, our practice coaches gear, our practice player apparel, spirit packs, things like that, our uniforms are distributed from them. Uh, they're also in the shoulder pad world now with Pro Gear. They do a bunch uh, of work with local baseball teams here, so make sure you check out Baker Sports. Just Play, which is the playbook software we use uh, at Bishop Kenny High School, and I also use it with my Patreon site. Uh, we use it for our install meetings, our team meetings. A lot of our presentations are done through their presentation mode. Uh, if I'm going to speak at any clinics or when I diagram things for my Patreon site, I use Just Play. I think it is the best play drawing tool on the market, so make sure you check them out. Difference USA, the ultimate striking machine. You get thousands of reps without needing a partner. Uh, we eliminate the, the need for somebody holding a bag, teaching a guy how to hold a bag and pro provide proper uh, you know, resistance in the drill, and then you eliminate potential injury of the player that doesn't hold the bag correctly. So it's just you, Difference USA, ultimate striking machine. Uh, it attaches to your racks in your weight room, so it's perfect for in-season, off-season development. If you want to strike violently, You've got to work on striking violently. Check out Difference USA. And then X and O Notebook, which is a company that makes completely customizable notebooks. You can have them, uh, your, your logo on the front. Uh, you can have your schedule on there. You can have anything you want on the covers inside. You can customize the templates to make them however you want for your players or your coaches to draw on. It is great for player meetings. If you have install meetings and your players can take notes along with what you're showing in Huddle or Just Play or whatever you're using uh, to show your your uh, your installs or video clips, whatever you're showing, now your players have a place to take notes and then it's great to have game plan notebooks for coaches. So customizable game plan notebooks so that they have a place where maybe all of your game plans can be in one notebook or maybe if the coaches have two notebooks in first half of the year, second half of the year or regular season playoffs, whatever it may be, it gives coaches a place that they can take notes rather than worry about that random yellow pad, legal pad or where did I have my notes or I can't remember where they are, they're all in one uh, convenient location and they are completely customizable and they look professional so check out X and O Notebook. Alright so when you're talking about visual key or pressure key all right, for defensive linemen your visual key is always going to be all right, the player that you are shaded on all right, or for us all right, it's the player that we are going to read all right, for our, our initial man on read. So we play four eye techniques which means we are inside eye of the tackle all right, so by definition, our visual key should be the tackle, where we put a, a little wrinkle into that, all right, and it's very similar to if you were playing a seven technique on a tight end. We visual key the guard, even though we are inside shaded on the tackle. All right, so by definition, if you looked up visual key, your visual key would be, all right, the uh, initial man that you are shaded on, and your pressure key would be the next adjacent lineman to that. All right, where we wrinkle it a little bit, and again, very similar to 7i or inside technique on a tight end, we are going to take our shade on a tackle, but our visual key is going to be the guard. All right, and the reason we do that is because I think in the tight front with four eyes, I think you're going to see a lot of schemes where they aren't released to tackle because they are either trying to read or possibly kick or trap the four eye, and an arc release of the tackle makes the four eye widen. So if they're in a read scheme and, and you are visual keying the, the tackle with the four eye and you get the arc, the four eye is going to have to widen with the tackle. Okay. So for me, with what we do in our tight front and the schemes that we are going to see and the types of players that I have, we play our four eye with our visual key as the guard. So our pressure, our pressure key now becomes the tackle that we are shaded inside of. Right? So our visual key is inside to the guard. All right, the pressure key is the tackle on us because that's the next adjacent lineman. Okay, so again, you know, a slight wrinkle for us with what we do, Techn uh, technical definition. You look at visual key, it would be the man you are shaded on. For us, the visual key of the nose 
is the center, all right? That's the player we're lined up on. And then the pressure key is going to be the guard, usually coming from away from where the center is working, all right? So for the, the nose, he has kind of two pressure keys he may have to feel because there's a guard on each side and he's a head-up technique. When you're shaded, you usually only have one pressure key that you have to feel, all right? And that's the next adjacent lineman. So what we try to work with our four eyes, all right, is we are going to visual key the guard. And what we want to know as far as our hand placement is concerned, is that visual key coming at us or going away from us? All right, so if that visual key comes to us, then our hands are probably going to go to the visual key. All right, so visual key at us, attack the visual key. So if you were playing in a traditional over front, you had a three technique. If that three technique is at you, then your hands need to go at the three technique. You need to attack the three technique. So if it's a drive combination double team, all right, with the drive block coming at you, you need to be able to strike the, the, the drive block violently and then feel the pressure of the down block coming from the tackle for you to play that double team. Okay, so for us, what we're working is if the guard comes at us, all right, then we are working to probably physically, all right, not probably, definitely get physically get our hands on the guard coming at us. Okay, so visual key at us, we're going to try and get our hands on the visual key. Visual key away, our hands are going to go to the pressure key. Because if our visual key goes away, that means our pressure key is probably working in some type of, and what we see most of the time is some type of down block scheme where the visual key goes down on the nose and now we're getting a down block from the tackle. So our hands are gonna have to be ready to go right back to the pressure key. All right, so visual key away, I'm thinking about getting my hands on the pressure key. Visual key to me, I'm thinking about getting my hands, all right, on the visual key. And we've gotta work that in drills all the time because it's kinda of hard for kids to be shaded on a tackle and when my visual key is the guard and the guard comes at me, where I'm placing my hands. All right, and then sometimes, depending on the skill level or the technique of the D lineman involved, all right, our players that have been here for a little bit, we can kind of wrinkle it to where we say, all right, look, visual key is the guard, but we're shaded on the tackle. If the visual key comes at us, we can still throw our hands back to the tackle. General rule so that for us, we go from, um, we go from our tight front, but then we also play some over front stuff where we play with a, uh, a two eye and a three technique. So in order for us to keep consistency, we teach the players that if your visual key comes at you, we are gonna try and strike the visual key, right? So we're shaded on the tackle, but we're visual keying the guard. If that guard comes at us, we're trying to get our hands on the guard, okay? So as that four eye, we've gotta maintain leverage in that B gap. So the things we've gotta be uh, aware of, and more so for us is, Visual key away, not getting cut off by the pressure key. So zone schemes, right? And, and the zone works away from the four eye. So if the zone works away from the four eye, I'm probably not gonna be able to get my hands on the visual key working away from me. So as the visual key goes away, all right, I am gonna work to squeeze the visual key, but my hands are probably gonna lock out back on the pressure key so that I can avoid being cut off. So if my visual key goes away, I'm not gonna step up the field because then I can get cut off by the scoop lock of the tackle. So visual key away, all right, I am going to squeeze the visual key, but I'm probably going to throw my hands back to the pressure key because that's the block. If the visual key is working away, he's probably not trying to block me. All right, so I don't necessarily need my hands on him. Visual key away, my hands are probably going to go back to the pressure key. So when we get down blocks from the guard or we get zone away from us, we have to be able to squeeze that while working hands back to the pressure key as long as we can feel the pressure key working towards us. All right, there could be some read schemes where you get visual key away, pressure key arc, there's nowhere to throw your hands. There's no pressure coming back to you. All right, so the pressure key is not working back to you. So you would squeeze the visual key, all right, but there's nowhere to place your hands. Your hands are then going to be placed on the trap block or the kick out block, or you're going to have nowhere to place your hands because you're going to be red, and we would play that, all right, in a hard squeeze chase. The 4i would be the inside component of the zone read play or the power read play. All right, so the 4i the becomes the inside part of that and we wanna squeeze the visual key so that if there's a trap coming, next thing we're gonna do is try and wrong arm spill the person that's trying to trap us, right? So when you're working visual versus pressure key, all right, visual key is where you are gonna make your initial reads. Pressure key is that next adjacent lineman coming to you. Visual key works at you, you try and get your hands on a visual key. Visual key works away, your hands are probably gonna go to your pressure key. If you're unblocked and you're, you're not striking anybody, you're working on squeezing, not running straight up the field, figuring out which part of the read scheme you are playing. All right, if you are a defensive end and you are a surf technique, then you would get a visual key that goes inside, 
You would work to take air out of that block. All right, you would work. To, if, if you're a five technique, there is no pressure key. All right, so if you're a five technique that doesn't have a tight end, you're on an open side. You're not going to have a pressure key because the visual key goes away and there's no adjacent lineman next to you. So you would surf inside and you would figure out, is there a fullback coming that I've got to spill, a guard coming that I've got to spill, a, a trapper that I've got to spill, or is it read game and I'm going to surf or I'm going to squeeze and pop out and play the quarterback. All right, or is it read game and I'm a scrape exchange player where I can chase. So now off the visual key inside, I can chase the inside component of the option play because I am a chase player. I am not a surf or a squeeze and pop player responsible for the quarterback. All right, so tight front, four eyes, visual key to guard, pressure key to tackle, Cent uh, the nose guard, sorry, visual key to center, pressure key is going to be the guard usually coming away from where the center block. So if it was a zone scheme and the center worked this side and the nose plays the backside A, the pressure key is going to be coming from that backside guard. All right. If it was some type of gap scheme and a center block back, then all right, our nose is responsible for the backside A gap. The pressure key is probably going to come from the down block there. If you get a back block by the center, you're usually going to get a down block from all right, the opposite guard away from the back block in a gap scheme versus an odd front. Or if that guy's unblocked, then they're trying to run some type of read scheme. They're usually not going to trap the player over the center. They might. All right, but normally it would be some type of read scheme. So the nose is visual key in the center. When the center works the direction, the pressure key is going to be the guard coming from the other side. The four eye visual key is the guard. His pressure key is going to be that attack. Visual key to us, we're trying to strike the visual key. Visual key away, we're trying to get, get ready to get our hands on a pressure key because if the visual key is away, the pressure key is probably coming down. If you're in a traditional front and you're playing a three technique, visual key at me, try and strike the visual key because now if it's a double team or a combo block, I'm getting drive block by my visual key, right? So if my visual key comes to me, I'm getting drive block, I'm getting hands on a visual key, and getting ready to feel, all right, the, the combo of the pressure key. If it's a zone scheme, you're going to get visual key to you that you're going to try and strike the visual key, and now the tackle might be working the five technique on the front side zone, so there is no double. So now you're attacking the visual key with your hands, helmet in your gap, and now there's no pressure key because it's a one-on-one -on -one block in a zone scheme. Okay, so you're not going to feel any pressure. If it's a combo block, you're going to get visual key at you, and then you're going to feel the pressure of the down block coming with it. Now you've got to take on that double team however you choose to teach your players to take the double team on. If it's visual key away, I'm getting ready to throw my hands to the pressure key because if it was a zone scheme away from me and I was a three technique, they're probably trying to scoop me with the backside uh, tackle. So when the guard goes away, visual key's away, I'm working with the visual key, but my hands are ready to strike back to the pressure key. All right, so hopefully that gives you a better understanding of what a visual key and a pressure key is. For us in our tight front, we're a little bit different than I think some other people are. We choose to play tight front, four eye on a tackle, visual key on a guard. So all our drills for the four eye are going to be visual key on a guard, visual key at me, strike the visual key, visual key away, get ready to put my hands on my pressure key, work on uh, visual key away, no pressure at all from the pressure key because that's going to be a read scheme or a trap scheme. So those are all the things that you need to work on with your D lineman. That's a little bit of an explanation of a visual key versus a pressure key and a little bit of an explanation of how we do it. Maybe it's different than some other people. Maybe it's the same. Um, that's how we choose to do it. So that's how we have to teach it. Okay. So uh, I appreciate you guys uh, following Play Fast. If you're not a subscriber, make sure you click that subscribe button. Make sure you turn your notifications on. You ring that bell so that you know every time we do a video or we go on YouTube live. Thumbs up, thumbs down. If you like the content, don't like the content, all right? It helps me understand the videos that I'm doing and the content I'm putting out and how I'm, uh, you know, uh, talking about the content or how I'm presenting the content to you. So if I get thumbs down, I know there's some people out there that don't necessarily like that content. So future content, I can base it off that. And then leave a message, any message or comment you leave, I try to respond to. Uh, if it's a message or a comment about a video, I will try and do it. If it's something that you don't agree with, please leave the message or the comment. It's your choice. I'm, I'm making the video. You're watching the video. If you don't agree, you can certainly leave a comment. It doesn't hurt my feelings. It's not going to, uh, you know, change anything I do in the future. We have, you have the, you know, the right to give your opinion. That's what it's all about. I appreciate you watching the video. And if you disagree, maybe your opinion will help me change the way I think about things or the way I look at things, or maybe I'll do something different because uh, you have a better way of doing it. All right, remember that we have a uh, tackling clinic going on tonight. Uh, Zoom call, 8 p.m. Eastern. Uh, it is with 
Scott Lawyer, the director of analytics from Adamus Football, so he's going to be talking about developing dominant tacklers. If you want to be involved in that, email me at sting8740 at gmail.com. I will give you the registration info. That clinic, uh, th those clinics are always recorded, and then the link goes up privately on my YouTube channel. Anybody that registers, not only do they get to attend the clinic live, but they also get a copy of that link. All right, so that's tonight. Thursday night, April 27th, 8 p.m. Eastern, sting8740 at gmail.com. If you are interested in registering, email me and I will tell you what you need to do to register. I appreciate all of you being here. Remember, you won't play well until you play fast. I will see you guys next time.